Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the review. And the items I'm looking at in this review is a brand new weapon set from Alpha Customs for Siege Barricade. This weapon set includes one illegally modified stun baton, one shotgun, a flashlight, two K on guard machine pistols, a stun pistol, two knuckle spikes, two shoulder weapon mounts, two shoulder miniguns, two beam emitters or missiles, and one Decepticon prototype pistol. So now, let's take a look at this weapon set on War for Cybertron Siege Barricade. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now before we get started, Alpha wanted me to let you guys know that the weapons I'm about to show you are in fact prototypes and the finished products should be available at the time of this video's release on his Facebook page or his eBay page and I'll put a link to both of those in the description of this video. Now the first weapon we're going to look at is the illegally modified stun baton. Let me get barricade out of the way so my camera will focus on this. This is a pretty cool little weapon. I love the molded details on it. You can tell how it's illegally modified. You've got a stun baton right here, but you've got three serrated blades on the end. <laughs> I think that's really cool. And that looks good on barricade. Let's see. You attach a stun baton like so. So I dig that. That looks awesome. Of course, you can swing it around like so. That is really cool. Really adds to the viciousness of the character. The next weapon we're going to look at is the shotgun. I really like the looks of this as well. If you guys recall from my barricade review, I used a Titan's Return, excuse me, not Titan's Return, but a Combiner Wars shotgun when I displayed my barricade. So I will definitely be using this. I love the looks of this. I love the paint scheme, how it looks burnt there on the end with some carbon scoring that is really cool a nice weapon let's go ahead and put that in barricade's hand see how he looks so there you go you got barricade with the shotgun with the stun baton he's ready for some fighting the next item we'll take a look at is the flashlight this is designed to look like a mag light what law enforcement uses another really cool design with lots of nice sculpted details Let's go ahead and remove Barricade's stun baton and put the flashlight in his hand. So there we go. Not sure why Barricade would need a flashlight considering he has headlights there on his chest, but still a really cool addition. It really fits the police officer theme. You can also slide it in underneath. So he's shining it right in the Autobot's eyes. What are you doing here? That is really, really cool. Now, the next features I like, or next accessories, is these right here. These are the shoulder mounts. You can attach two different weapons to these, and these will go right here on top of Barricade's shoulders where the stock weapons go. You've got the little tab right there that'll match into the tab on top of his shoulder. So we'll get both of those in. And just to let you guys know, these mounts will work in vehicle mode. Now you have a couple different options for the mounts. You have these beam emitters, which I think look like missiles, but that's what they're called, beam emitters. Very well sculpted, lots of nice details, and they just simply slot right in to the shoulder mounts. Quit throwing them across the table there. So there we go, there is Barricade with the beam emitters. And I think that looks really good. I dig it, it's very 
G1 looking. Well, considering G1 Barricade was a hot pink race car. Now, another option, and my favorite option for these, is the little mini guns. I love these things. Look at the sculpted details on those. Those are really cool. And these fit in the same way these beam emitters do. Let's go ahead and remove those. And with the minigun, you take the longer end, and that's what slots in to the hole. Get that in there. And now we have Barricade with the miniguns on his shoulders, and I love that. He is totally badass looking now. Alpha, kudos on this one. That is awesome. Next up, we have the stun pistol. So this is kind of like a taser. Nice paint applications there. Looks really, really good. Let's go ahead and take the flashlight out. We'll put the taser or the stun pistol in his hand. So now he can tase you with this hand and blow you away with this hand. So another fine piece of weaponry for barricade. Next up is these k -On Guard machine pistols. And these kind of look like the stock pistols that barricade came with, except they're on black or excuse me, except they're painted black. And this is to represent how the pistols looked in Barricade's artwork. Now, unlike the stock pistols, these do not connect to each other. So these are to be wielded individually. So let's go ahead and remove the shotgun and the stun pistol. And we'll put these in hand. Of course, you got the handle here and there's the painted clip up top. Slide that one in there. And there we have Barricade wielding his machine pistols. Now, you can mount these on the shoulders. It takes a little work, but you want to use the clip section here. Actually, let's use this one. The clip section will fit into the tab on his shoulder. It's a little tight, but there is an option that you can use. Next up is the spiked knuckles, and these are awesome. I have a set of siege knuckles for barricade that say punish and enslave, but I really dig these one, these ones. These, these are friggin' Autobot tenderizers right here. So let's go ahead and put those in barricade's hands. They slot in just like so. That one's a little tight. There we go. So there we have barricade ready for some melee combat, and I love that. That is awesome looking. It's really cool. I love the looks of the Spike Knuckle Guards. And lastly, we have the Decepticon Prototype Hand Cannon. And if you're a fan of the 1986 Transformers movie, this one looks a little familiar. This is the weapon that Megatron used to get those final blasts in on Optimus Prime. Another very well sculpted weapon. I love the paint scheme, very generation one. Let's go ahead and put that in Barricade's hand, see what it looks like, or see what it looks like. That's another one that's a little tight, but there we go. There's a perfect fit. If there's somebody who's gonna be wielding a prototype weapon, it would be Barricade. I want to give Alpha Customs a big shout out and thank you for this Siege Barricade weapon set. Barricade has become one of my favorite Transformer characters, one of the best things to come out of Bayverse, and I'm so happy that Hasbro decided to give him a G1 style treatment in the new modern line. This weapon set really adds to the character, and I love how you can really mix and match them. See how now I have the Gatling guns on the forearms, the machine pistols on the shoulders. He's got the shotgun, the, the uh, stun baton. I think this looks awesome, and that's how my barricade is going to look on my display shelf. Now, if you want a set of these for yourself, as I said in the beginning, I'm going to put links to Alpha Customs eBay and Facebook page in the description of this video. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!